Hello, I'm Andy Coulson from IBM UK. This is a video in a YouTube series I call the 5 Minute Mainframe. Today I want to talk to you about IBM Cyber Vault. It's designed to help you with your mainframe recovery after logical corruption. But first, a story about risk assessment from the aviation world. It's an industry built on protecting you from serious risks, and it's based in the good old days when a passenger could visit the cockpit during the flight. So picture the scene, the cockpit of a commercial jet, and a visiting passenger is very worried. Captain, what if the engines fail? Well, we'll just glide to safety. Well, what if the wings fall off then? That won't happen, but if it did, we'd just parachute down safely. What if the parachutes fail? Well, we'd aim to land on a haystack to cushion our fall. But, but Captain, what if there's a pitchfork in the haystack and it's pointing upwards? Well, it might be frustrating, but it's always wise to consider the various scenarios of potential failure and to plan for safety. Indeed, it makes sense to continue considering the possibilities. Over time, the risk assessments can change and previously unusual causes of failure become more likely. There may be entirely new risks to consider, those hidden pitchforks, for example. It's the same when you're considering the health and well-being of your mainframe infrastructure. Resilience, recovery and cyber security are more important than ever now. In the mainframe world, we have many decades of experience of planning and mitigation exercises and so on. We can look to world-class continuous and high availability technologies to protect our customers and data during all manner of failures. And yet, ransomware is much in the news and data corruption from disgruntled insiders is commonly documented. Potentially 70% of unauthorized activity can be traced to insider involvement. So stolen or sold credentials might lead to a, new, a few pennies added here and there to a balance or to escalated privileges and then access gained to some of the most powerful encryption and key management facilities on the planet. Suddenly your parachute has failed and you're fast approaching the haystack, or in our case, a serious logical data corruption. Disaster recovery planning scenarios are typically centered around crises initiated by hardware failure, say, or an application outage or geographical disruption, a lengthy citywide power outage, perhaps, or configuration error. Failover is usually automated to backup of infrastructure and backup data. So far, so good, or maybe a degree of complacency has crept in. What if the initiation is a warning of data corruption or of data or service access denial? A message gets delivered, access denied, and access should most definitely not be denied. Or a deluge of customer complaints about account errors or an overnight balance that fails to equalize. What if the integrity of the restore copy of the database or the file is in doubt? And is in any case inextricably linked to the integrity of the restore copy of the database? And what if the integrity of the restore copy of the database or file is in doubt, and in any case, is inextricably linked to many other restores that must happen simultaneously, some of which are also in doubt? In such scenarios, where does your hardware copy and restore leave you? Potentially a restore of equally corrupted data and a failure after hours or days of effort, days your organisation may no longer have the luxury of. The thing is, your instant data replication capability may instantly replicate your logical corruption. While conventional monitoring can detect system and application outages, there's typically no validation of logical integrity. A current single point of recovery can itself be compromised, and with systems storage and tape pools participating in a single logical system structure, backups of these may be as vulnerable as the primary source. Your scope of recovery might be as narrow as system-wide. So logical recovery will require additional forensic or surgical recovery capabilities. My point is, do you have a plan for recovery from data corruption? Is that plan capable of restoring a clean, trusted copy on which your customers can depend? If you're taking data copies, are they air-gapped to somewhere safe, isolated point in time? Do you know how long it would take you to recover your systems and applications after an attack? OK, so I've raised the spectre and asked lots of questions, so I ought to start providing some answers. The IBM Cyber Vault solution for Z ticks a great many boxes in this area. It's designed to enable continuous data protection. It combines the Z hardware and software, storage and integrated services, using a trusted air-gapped copy of data to help enterprises to recover fast from outages due to corrupted logical data, such as entities, like tables, attributes, columns and fields, and relationships or keys. 
The key to CyberVault is the provision of data validation early and often and forensic analysis to identify recovery actions and surgical recovery to extract data from the copy and logically restore uh, back to the production environment and catastrophic recovery for worst case scenarios when the entire environment has to be restored back to a point in time copy and also offline backups for that extra protection. With new and increased cyber threats emerging during the 2020 pandemic and lockdown, this approach can help mainframe shops to identify cyber attacks aimed at logical data as well as responding and recovering to breaches more quickly. Complementing other existing security, like high availability and disaster recovery solutions, you probably have many of the key components already in place, as Z14 or Z15, DS8K Storage, IBM GDPS and IBM Security Guardian. As I mentioned, it, it makes a lot of sense to continue scanning the horizon and considering the various risks and emerging possibilities and planning accordingly. Some versions of the aircraft joke have all those unfortunate events actually occurring and end with this punchline. Luckily, they missed the pitchfork. Unluckily, they also missed the haystack. The more awareness we have of the possible risks and what's available to mitigate them, the better prepared, better protected and more resilient we can be. I've been Andy Coulson, thanks very much.